Hi, grade fours. Another way that you can do multiplication is by dividing numbers into factors. Okay, and that will make multiplication easier as well. Okay, so let's go through what are factors. Factors is a whole number that divides exactly into another number without a remainder. For example, the factors of 12 are 6 and 2. Okay, so the factors of 12 are 6 times 2. Okay, because you can say 12 divided by 6 will give you 2, and 12 divided by 2 will give you 6. Okay, so it can, 12 can be divided exactly by 6 and 2. Okay, 12 can be divided into both 6 and 2 without remainder. Okay, to find all the factors of 12, you first divide by 1. And then keep working down using the next number that will divide exactly. So all the factors of 12 will be, so if you write factors of 12, you'll write it like that. Okay, you can say 12 divided by 1 is 12. Okay, so 1 will be a factor of 12. 2, because 12 divided by 2 will give you 6. 3, because 12 divided by 3 will give you 4. 4, because 12 divided by 4 will give you 3. 5, no, because you can't say 12 divided by 5. 12 divided by 5 will be 2 remainder 2. And it does a factor cannot have a remainder. So you'll skip 5 and you'll go 6. Because 12 divided by 6 gives you 2. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 will not be factors of 12 because it will give you a remainder. So the last factor of 12 will be 12. Okay, so all the factors of 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Because all those numbers can be divided into 12 without any remainders. Okay, so then they give ask you there to write the factors of the following numbers as number sets. Okay, so they want you to give the factor factors of 8, the factors of 10, the factors of 15, and the factors of 7. Okay, so if you look at number 8, what numbers can be divided into 8 without a remainder? 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, because if you divide 8 with any of those 4 numbers, you will not get a remainder. Okay, for number 10 will be 1, 2, 5, 10. Because 10 divided by 1 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 10 divided by 10 is 1. Okay, see, so they don't give you any remainders. The factors of 15 will be 1, 3, 5, and 15. Okay, and the factors of 7 will only be 1, and 7. Okay, 7 can't be divided by any other number without a remainder. Okay, so now for 1.1 to 1.5 that you're going to do today, you can either use the vertical multiplication that I showed you on Monday, or you can use the distributive property that I showed you earlier, or you can divide the numbers into factors. So you choose which method you understood the best and you complete the sums using any relevant method. Okay, and good luck and shout if you need any help. Love you. Bye.